The United Arab Emirates continues to attract a diverse mix of nationalities into the country. Among them are the 40,000 South Africans who have made the Emirates their home. In addition to promoting the UA as a tourist destination, a wide range of investment opportunities are among the attractions highlighted by the Dubai-based South African consulate. Anita Bayes has this story. Arriving in 2001, South African businesswoman Vida Hutting can proudly say that she has seen the UAE transform from desert landscape to now a thriving and dynamic business hub. Having worked on projects such as Marinat Chimera Resort, Abu Dhabi St. Regis Saadiyat Island Resort and Dubai Creek Golf Course Development, Hutting says setting up her company in the UAE has allowed her to explore, create and achieve. I've had this amazing journey of where um, people have treated me with respect mm -hmm. Um, honouring you, um, you know, guarding you, um, and letting you feel welcome. Um, it's been amazing. I think you can actually see it at the way that they respect um, their women mm -hmm. by giving you opportunities to have priority banking. You know, for me that was amazing that you could actually go to a bank and you don't have to stand in a queue, or go to a government institution and um, you also look after and you feel valued. Mm -hmm. um, to me, that is amazing what the UAE has done for us and the projects that we get exposed to here is just so big and amazing and uh, so as on a, a personal level and also on a, a level in my in my profession and um, it's pushed the boundaries for me the successful mother is just one of the thousands who have established themselves in the UAE. Mr. Fanish Guman, the Consul General for South Africa to the UAE, has witnessed the progress of his fellow countrymen. As a result, the consulate receives a remarkable amount of visa applications on a daily basis in the UAE. I think the economic stability is one factor. Uh, the second issue is that they need highly skilled people to work for them. And we in South Africa, we have these very skilled people and they work for these companies. And thirdly, you know, young people after they have studied, they just want to go somewhere for the experience and for the money. So many of those people are here for two, three years to have some experience, especially in the hospitality industry. Uh, and then they work here and they earn some money and uh, they go back to South Africa. The majority of success stories in the UAE are from South African women, as the Emirates provides women with opportunities to grow and develop. In addition to this, Vida takes inspiration from the iconic march, which took place in the streets of Pretoria, South Africa, on the 9th of August, 1956. It's amazing what they did. Um, they were housewives, nannies professional women, teachers, all society actually taking part, the whole of our Rainbow Nation was there that day um, and they stood up, 20,000 of them, people that had no voice before, um, voicing their opinion and taking the petitions to the union buildings and saying, listen, we want better rights for us and also for other South Africans. Um, I think that has actually um, empowered us as women and it was the start of the growing process in our country. The UAE remains the largest trade partner to South Africa in sectors such as food and beverage, energy, construction and aviation, with total bilateral trade equaling just fewer than 2 billion US dollars. Yeah, many companies, South African companies, have already invested uh, in the UAE, like Sassol, like uh, Group 5, like Sun International, like Mediclinic. Uh, so those companies are already in the UAE. Uh, then, of course, it's always a bilateral uh, situation. While relatively small compared to other communities living and working in the UAE, embassy officials forecast the South African population in the UAE to rise within the near future. Anita Bayes, Seven National News.